Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of how to make a grid attack fan game. So yeah, we're going to be adding Playfab in today's tutorial. So go to Unity Hub to open our project and then click on the project that we was working on. And then once you're there, um, go to the link into the, 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 the Then once you're there, go into the link in the description. Uh, then click on Unity SDK package, download raw file, and then drag it into Unity. Click import. Then click right click create C sharp script. Call it Playfab Man. But uh, yeah, so go to the developer.playfab.com link, then click sign up. I agree, sign up with Microsoft. I already did this bit, so you'll have to follow the steps, but click on new studio. Later in the tutorial, you have to redo this bit because for some reason, Playfab editor extensions only supports logging in with school or work Microsoft accounts. Yo call it your studio name not like literally not literally this just like say if my studio name was like uh uh sigma games incorporated i'd name it that but yeah click save studio then on three dots click new title name it your game name i'm just gonna name it tutorial game click enter and then copy the four letter code. Go into Playfab, make Playfab shared settings, copy and paste the title ID. And yeah, so now we can go back into uh, our scripts, go to Playfab Manager, the one we just created. Yeah, so we're gonna do simple logging in just for this tutorial. Do using Playfab, using Playfab.client models. Then do void login far request equals new login with custom ID request. custom id equals system info dot device unique identifier and then create account equals true and do play fab client api dot login with custom id request and then make two voids so void on login success login with custom id result result login result result and then and then do debug dot log result dot playfair id and then do a dollar sign and then double quotes and do logged in as result dot playfair and do on login success and do the same thing for an error occurring. Do on login error play fab error error and then do error logging in and do 
error dot generate error report and click control s and do on login error then click control s so then you do void start uh login then you press Control S, then go back into Unity, create an empty game object called Playfab Manager. Then drag it into here, the Playfab Manager script, and then click on Play. And as you can see, it says logged in as your Playfab ID. And now if you go back into here and click on players, click on search, you can see it has our playfab ID, the one we logged in as. So now we're going to create two strings, public string, playfab ID, public username and then we're gonna do play that ID because result dot play that ID and then we're not gonna do username for now because that applies an extra step but yeah Click save. And then, as you can see, our playfab ID is the same. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a virtual currency, so like do attack a shiny box, go into the economy. Currency legacy, new currency, and currency code. Just name it uh, the first two letters of the currency name. And I'm just going to call it tutorial coins. And then initial deposit. So, like in Gorilla Tag, you start off with 500 shiny rocks. So, this you start off with the amount you have. So, I'm going to do 250 for this tutorial. And recharge rate, so basically how you get 100 shiny rocks in Gorilla Tag per day, you'd get how many ever you put in here per day. So I'm just gonna put 100 and recharge maximum is the maximum amount you can have. So you, I'm gonna set this to 2 billion 147 million 448,647, which is the maximum number you can have in 32 bit. So yeah, just click save currency. And then, uh, once you're in here, on login success, we're going to do public int uh, tutorial coins. And then on here, and then, do far request equals new uh, get user inventory request play and then we're going to add using using playfab dot admin so go back in so go to the second github link and then click download raw file and drag it in here click import and 
and go to window, play fab, editor extensions, click login, login with Microsoft, and then just sign into your Microsoft account. You what? This is what I was talking about earlier on in the video. So just sign in with your school account, I guess. So yeah, just, just set it up again. Uh, your studio name. And your title. Uh, your game name. And and go back into login, login with Microsoft account and click set so I missed this in the video but also click on studio and then click on your studio name and set the title ID to the title ID of your game Things. API enable admin API And just wait for it to do its thing. Do using playfab.admin models. So once again, I'm going to um, add, add the virtual currency. So go into your game, economy. new currency and then do the same stuff you did and then do far request get user inventory request playfab.adminmodels.get get unity get user inventory request playfab id equals playfab id and then playfab admin api dot get user inventory request request then create another void void on get inventory success get user inventory result and make sure you add playfab dot admin models first do res int vc equals result dot virtual currency quote unquote tc and then feast and then uh to true coins equals vc and do on inventory success and error equals greater than symbol debug dot log er error getting inventory I'm just gonna do in for short and save And then drag it up here so you can see we have a new thing called tutorial coins remember to add it to on login success which uh, I forgot to do 
Wait, I didn't forget to do. Editor extensions. Project Studio, your studio name. Tutorial game. And then... Click play. And as you can see, tutorial coins is now at 250. And if we go into here, click search. Go into here, virtual currencies, it's 250. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, video. <coughs> you can subscribe and see you.